In this video, we're looking at baits good enough to eat. That's genuinely really nice. <laughs> oh, strong. Before we jump into the video, please make sure you subscribe to Carpology TV and also hit the bell icon so you don't miss any future uploads. And also follow all the social media platforms coming up at the bottom of your screen now for regular updates. LK Baits, who are they and what exactly do they have to offer? Now I've got a plethora of stuff around me once again and I'll get onto this in a second, but who are LK Baits? Now they are a Czech based company, which is why probably quite a lot of you haven't heard of them before and I hadn't until we got in, uh, in conjunction with them to do this video but they're quite big over in Europe and that they've got a good reputation over there as well. And, and these baits, when I get onto them in a second, you'll probably look at them and think, yeah, that does look like something that's more likely to be used in Europe. But that's not to say that you can't use them in the UK or try something different. But anyway, LK Baits are just uh, a bait company and they produce something a little bit different. So in 2020, I believe it was, they produced a Nutri, uh, Nutri Go, that's how I pronounce it, anyway, a Nutri, Nutri Go, Nutri Go, that's what I'm going to say. And it's basically a boilie that has couple of different layers and on the inside it's hollow but filled with a liquid so completely unique I've not seen it before I'm not saying this is a first because it probably has been done before but I've not seen them in uh, in the flesh before but so on the inside you've got like a, a little core of liquid and the whole idea of that is to boost your attraction everyone wants to boost the attraction of their hook baits and uh, sometimes you glug your boil boilies and things or add different coating to them or you can even add like a stick mix to your your hook bait so that you've got an extra bit of attraction around your hook bait the whole idea of these being um, with, with an inner core full of liquid is that it's already got all that attraction within it so as that starts to seep out you can drill holes into the bait and it will start seeping out and also when fish eat them uh, if you if you're free offering these putting these as freebies and they break down and they crack them open those liquids are going to go out into the water sending off loads of different food signals so from a very small amount of bait it releases a lot of attraction and that's the main thing that they're going for with these uh, as fast forward to 2021 they've brought out the these which is the NutriGo extra and quite self-explanatory it's just full of more liquid inside of these now so these are the the latest iteration of the NutriGo and again, if you have a look at some of the shots that I've taken earlier, cutting these in half, you can see the different layers that are within the boilies. So you've got like a quite a hard outer shell, so it doesn't break down too easily. And then beyond that, you've got more of a, a typical boilie makeup. And then right in the center, you've got the liquid as well. So once it's broken open, you can see it holds quite a bit of liquid. And I did a little test in the margin just to see how it reacted with the water. And as you can see, all the oils are just flying off of it, like going in all different directions. So you imagine you've put that on your hook bait, you've pierced it with a, a bait needle to put on your hair. There's already the hole for your hair on there. But if you put several other little holes in it and you put that bait out there, all those oils and attractions are going to be seeping out of the boilie, giving a lot more uh, attention to your hook bait that might stand out over the next person. They're available in various different sizes. I think it's uh, 20, 24 and 30, I believe. I may have got that slightly wrong. I'll have to double check, but they're big old baits. I mean, when these arrived and I looked at these, I was um, quite shocked at the size of some of these baits. And I've also got to apologize here for it to my dad because a lot of the work deliveries I get go straight to his bakery and I never know what things are going to arrive. But he told me one day that um, there's an extremely smelly box in his uh, bakery and it was all these. So it should have smelt like fresh bread in his bakery. Instead, it smelled of a concoction of mango, strawberry, shrimp, blood worm. So apologies, dad. But um, these are some of the things that are to offer. So if I go round from right to the left, I've got a plankton one. So that's one thing to note is there's some more natural flavors and some more fruity flavors. So you've got plankton, which is in a quite a dark brown, muddy sort of color. Moving around, complete opposite, we've got bright yellow mango. Now these ones, I love mango myself. Genuinely, I would ugh, tempt to put one in my mouth just to, just to prove that they won't taste as good as, as they smell. But I'm not going to because I'm sure the liquids won't taste as nice as they smell for human consumption anyway. Moving around again, bright pink, we've got wild strawberry further round you got pepper so again a quite a savory flavor then spiced shrimp now i think this is the one that probably stunk out dad's bakery the most because oh yes that one's got a bit of a kick to it as well you can definitely get the uh, spice at the back of your nose with that one bloodworm quite a dark weight this one almost like a, a 
really dark purple, maybe slight blacks in there, but the outer shell has got flecks of red and all sorts in. So some different textures going on. And then we come around to the Compot NHDC. Now, I'm not entirely sure what all that stands for. But again, that's a really strong bait. That reminds me of, if any of you ever had those, uh, I think they're called fireball gobstoppers when you're a kid. Uh, well, when I say when you're a kid, early 2000s, because that's when I was a kid, really. That's what that sort of reminds me of. So a whole plethora of different things av available. <laughs> that one's really kicked me in the throat. Excuse me. So uh, there's a lot to, to go for in this range. Now, where would you use these over, say, what you'd normally be sticking to? Well, winter could be one option. And you can see how high vis some of these baits are. You may not typically go for the biggest ones I've got here, but high vis, so we're always looking for high visual attraction and something that pumps out a lot of um, scents and smells that doesn't overfeed the fish. Hello, Robin. It doesn't overfeed the fish, but you're getting a lot of scent and attraction into a swim. So it's, it's, it's not overfeeding them, but you've got something that's gonna get their attention and hopefully get you a bite. It's also probably a good way of building up a swim without having to chuck in kilo upon kilo of bait because it's got all those liquids in. It's offering a lot of scent, getting the fish coming back. It can smell something good in the area without overfeeding them. So it can build up a spot quite quickly. Maybe stringers as well. You could stick them onto stringers instead of maybe using solid bags or uh, PVA stringers and stuff, um, PVA bags, sorry. You could put these on a stringer setup and because they start to break down and seep out into the swim, there's so much attraction coming from these uh, that it probably does the same sort of job as what a stick mix or PV bag would do. So they're very unique. I'm not saying this is gonna be everyone's cup of tea and it may not be something that fits in your fishing, but for some people it will. You know, have you ever walked around the lake and you've come across someone that does, does something completely bizarre to you but he's catching and it could be because he's doing something a bit different so it might be worth giving a try or if you're heading over to Europe and there's lakes around there that these baits are already working well on it may be a good shout to pick them up but for more information please do head over to the LK bait team uh, website sorry because there's lots more than what you can see with me today but this is just a taster of what they have to offer please also make sure you subscribe to us and hit the bell icon so you don't miss any future uploads and follow us on all the social media platforms coming up on the bottom of your screen now. Cheers for watching and I'll see you again soon.